okay so we are going to show you the real time ebsd analysis which is available in iit kanpur at the department of material science engineering this is an microscope which is uh, uh, can do all kinds of ebsd uh, analysis the sample is loaded inside this chamber and uh, this is the ebsd camera which goes inside whenever we are required to detect the ebsd uh, are required to do the EBSD analysis and uh, after you load the sample, sample is basically loaded this kind of holders where you can see there is automatic tilt. So, you do not need to tilt it nowadays this kind of holders are available. So, sample will be remain tilted in this position at about 65 to 75 degrees and then if I if I show you what is there inside you can see that this is a sample holder and the sample is mounted here which is automatically tilted with respect to the horizontal by 65 to 75 degrees and this is the phosphor screen and the camera which goes inside and these are the uh, this is the through which the electron beam falls on the sample and uh, there are other detectors which is attached to any ACM or scanning electron microscope. Now, uh, we will just simply go back to the original position that is the sample. So this is the bass cutter image obtained when the sample is tilted. Now, once it is there on the computer, we can actually take any point on the sample and uh, get a EVSD pattern. So, I will explain you how it is done. So, now we if we import this uh, uh, image on the computer screen there. So, as you see the same image is imported there. Now, if we click just the button, just the mouse here, we can immediately get the EVSD pattern on the computer screen. This is what is the automated automation nowadays possible to get. So, this is the unprocessed EVSD pattern which is which contain lot of noise or and that needs to be corrected. It is uh, getting the EVSD pattern actually normally 16 EVSD patterns are collected from one position and they are integrated over the time scale. So, that the quality of the pattern can be improved and then the background subtraction is done to remove the background noise. It is now collecting these EVSD patterns from that particular point which is selected on the secondary electron image uh, on the sorry on the backscatter electron image and then it is collecting these EVSD patterns. Well, so uh, we would like to show you how this is done online in a fully automated system. So, as you see on the left side of this computer screen there is an electron micrograph which is basically a basket electron micrograph taken when the sample was tilted to 65 to 75 degrees and then as I click you will see that a pattern will appear on the right side. So, if I click it here, so a pattern appears on the screen and you can see the pattern is even indexed. So, this is the quality of the EBSD pattern one can get nowadays using the this kind of high quality detectors. And by knowing this uh, the typical crystal structure of the material, we can actually uh, see that even this, this is the orientation of the crystal uh, uh, with respect to the sample. So, uh, from the laboratory frames, we can get actually what is the exact orientation of the crystal. So, if I collect the information from different grains of the material in the where for a for which we are doing the study, we can actually get all the informations from each grain and then store it into the computer and finally, it is possible in fact, to show that uh, how the gain uh, this information can be processed and a gain map can be obtained which I will show you in a nutshell. So, suppose this is a as in this is an austenitic stainless steel sample which has FCC crystal structure and this is the uh, grain different grains in the crystal and once we uh, go down and once we take the information from different grains which are present in the sample after collecting the EVSD patterns and we can just process in the software and then we can plot it in terms of the gain orientations and this is the way gain orientations are shown by different colors. This each color indicate the orientation of the grain as you see the 001 actually is depicted in red color whether 101 is depicted in green 
and 111 is depicted in blue. So, therefore, any grain which is looks like a red is basically close to 001 orientation. Whether one grain like this one or this one, uh, it can be inferred that they are oriented along 011 or 101 orientations. On the other hand, there are grains like this which is blue, they are oriented along 111. So, therefore, in a large number of grains, we can collect the orientation information from all the grains or rather each of these grains and then we can figure out even what is the kind of orientations here, the fraction of number of grains and this is the fraction and this is the number of neighboring grains and we can find out the orientations by doing certain analysis and that is what is done in this picture. Here the pole figures corresponding to 100, 110 and 111 are shown. And as you can see, it is uh, the rest is visibly there is some texture present in the sample, and uh, this texture is not so uh, clear uh, from these pictures. But in the class, I will discuss you each of these cases, and I'll show you that we can get information and get the uh, this uh, this texture type of a particular material from such a kind of analysis. In fact, one can plot, one can make a plot in my four figure four like this, in which one can show the cluster of the grains with orientations like 001, 101 or 111. And by knowing these orientations uh, or the number of clusters present at each orientation one can get which is the predominant texture. As you see here, the most of the grains are oriented along 101. So, there are large number of green regions close to the 101. On the other hand, there are very few blue region close to 111. So, therefore, very few grains are there which are oriented along 111 and that is obvious because in a in a normal material like stainless steel, the grain oriented should be predominantly either 001 or 101 type and so therefore, one can actually get such a kind of lots of kind of uh, information from one single run of EBSD and this is what makes this technique so useful in the real situations where we need to analyze the line number of grains and uh, get information regarding their orientations with respect to the laboratory frame of uh, frame and also the whether these orientations are pseudo uh, random or they are preferred that is whether there is any texture present or not this all can be inferred from such a kind of analysis. Such a facility is existing almost every lab uh, almost many labs in India and uh, one can prepare a sample and then just uh, put it inside a microscope and obtain such patterns in a uh, 6 to 8 hours time and uh, then process this information in a software uh, which are available in the market and then infer lot of informations.